hello everyone uh, welcome to this session so in this video we are going to look at different error detection techniques and error correction techniques so in error detection techniques we have three of them one is parity check another one is checksum and another one is crc cyclic redundancy check so let's start with the first uh, technique which is parity check so this is the process of uh, using parity check for error detection so in parity check we have two te uh, two techniques that is one is even parity and another one is odd parity okay so we can perform the parity check either using even parity or odd parity so this process that you are seeing on the screen is even parity okay right so what is the thing about even parity is according to even parity the number of ones in the data should be even okay number of ones in the data should be even so let's see how this works so this is the sender side the process on the sender side is so take the data that the sender wants to send to the receiver and using this data compute the parity bit so how to compute the parity bit is so if you see this is the data and the number of ones are one two three so the number of ones in the data is three which is odd the number of ones in the data is three which is odd so I, as i already told you according to the even parity the uh, number of ones should be even so that's why we add a parity bit and make it one okay i think all of you understood how we got the parity bit as one because the number of ones in the data is odd which is three so to make it even we have placed a one so the number of ones now is four which is even okay right now this entire data along with the parity bit goes to the transmission media or the channel to the receiver okay now the receiver will keep this parity bit aside okay will keep this parity bit aside and the receiver will use this data and again computes the parity bit okay and if the computed parity bit is same as the received parity bit which is this then we say there is no error in the data received otherwise we can say there is an error okay so if the computed parity bit is same as the received parity bit then we can accept data otherwise we can reject the data okay so this is how parity check works it's very simple so in parity check we will add one extra bit to the data which is the parity bit okay all right then let's move on to the second technique which is checksum right here we will use ones complement binary sum okay the technique we use here is or the operation here we use is ones complement binary sum so let's see what happens on the sender side first so the sender wants to send this data okay so we take the data and we divide the data into different segments so here the number of segments we got is four okay one two three four so here k represents the number of segments and m represents the number of bits in each segment so if you take this first segment the number of bits is eight okay now what will the sender do is the sender takes first two segments and performs once complement binary sum okay so in the result if the pro, uh, in the result if we get one as a carry we will add that one to the previous result okay now if you see here we didn't get any carry then we take the next segment which is the third segment and again repeat the process until all the segments are completed or there is no carry so this is the final sum that we have computed or the sender has computed and after getting the final sum we will do once complement 
okay we will do ones complement what is ones complement of a binary number simply switch 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 okay and once we get the complement result that is the sender checksum okay so the final result will be the sender checksum now the sender will send the all this data along with the checksum okay the sender will send the data along with checksum to the receiver okay now the receiver will mm, perform the same process which the sender has done until the until the receiver gets the last result that is the sum result okay and now to this sum we will add sender's checksum okay so please be careful here so to the uh, uh, result of the sum summation that is done by the receiver we will add the sender checksum okay now we will add these two and if the result we get is all ones and after we complement if we get all zeros that means there is no error okay otherwise if at least one of these bits is one in that case we will say there is error okay so this is how the checksum technique works so the main operation that is done is performing once complement sum okay so let's move on to the next and the final technique which is cyclic redundancy check so here we will use something called cyclic codes and we will add some redundant, redundant bits extra bits so that's why we say redundancy and since we are uh, using this technique for detecting or checking that's why the name check cyclic redundancy check okay so let's look at an example mm. So this is the data that the sender wants to send. Okay, so this is the input number one to the algorithm and the input number two for the algorithm is either generator polynomial or CRC generator. Okay, so this is the generator polynomial that we are taking here. So this polynomial is expanded to this one into x cube, which is x cube, zero into x square is zero, zero into x power one is zero and 1 into x power 0 is 1 okay now you take all these bits that is coefficients 1 0 0 1 okay so this is how you can compute the crc generator from the polynomial okay so the crc generator that we have computed is 1 double 0 1 and number of bits in this crc generator is 4 okay now look at this so this is like a uh, formula or process that we are going to do so if the crc generator is having n number of bits that is in this example it is 4 we will append n minus 1 zeros to the end of the original message that means we are going to append three zeros three zeros okay so here are the three zeros that we are appending to the original message okay i think you have understood how we got this three zeros okay now once you once you have appended the number of zeros that are required to the original message now we do uh, xor division xor division okay so this is a this is the division process okay so take the crc generator 1001 and you take the data with the appended uh, zeros and you do xor so what is the truth table of xor whenever the bits are different we we place one otherwise if the bits are same in the 00 or 11 we give zero okay so this is 01 we got one different 10 different so we got one zero zero so we got 0, 1, 1, we got 0, right? So in the result, you ignore the leading zeros, okay? You 
ignore the leading zeros so don't uh, care about those zeros ignore them okay and the remaining bits are one one and you take two zeros from the data and now you are performing the division on one one zero zero okay again the same process repeats until all the bits in the data are expired and this is the final result that we got okay now there are four bits in the final result you take the last three bits zero one one why we are taking last three bits is because of this formula okay because we have added three zeros we are taking last three bits which is zero one one Okay, now replace this 0, 0, 0 with 0, 1, 1. Now this is the result we got. Okay, so this data is sent to the receiver. Okay, this data is sent to the receiver. On the receiver also the same process happens, XOR binary division. And if the final result is all zeros, then we say the data is perfect there are no errors so if at least one bit is one then we say there is an error so in this example there was no error okay so this is how cyclic redundancy check works right so next we are going to look at error correction so so far we have seen three three error detection techniques parity checksum and crc now once uh, the receiver detects there are some errors the receiver will try to correct them okay the receiver will try to correct them so okay let me go to the slide right so once the receiver checks there are some errors in the data the receiver will try to correct them so there are two ways of error correction one is backward error correction another one is forward error correction so what is backward error correction once the receiver knows there are some errors in the data the receiver will ask for retransmission okay so this is a simple solution so whenever the receiver uh, checks and detect some errors the re receiver will ask the sender to send the data again that is this backward error correction otherwise uh, the receiver um, or the sender before before communicating before communication between sender and receiver they can use a technique like hamming code okay technique like hamming code this is an example of forward error correction technique actually using hamming code you can detect errors as well as correct them okay you can detect errors as well as correct them using hamming code so according to hamming code we will introduce some extra bits also called as redundant bits so as we have seen in the crc we are adding some bits at the end of the data but in hamming code we will add the bits uh, in between the data bits at, spe at specific locations so where we introduce the extra bits is based on the technique that is the algorithm of the hamming code okay so because of those extra bits the hamming code is able to detect at which location the errors are coming and it can also correct them up to two bits okay so if there are more than two bits in which the error has occurred this code this technique will not work so up to two bits the hamming code is able to correct them detect and correct them okay so that's it about the error correction techniques where we have two types one is backward error correction and another one is forward error correction so that's it about the error detection and correction techniques thank you